According to the Israeli military, a spokesperson for the army saying that, yes, indeed, there were raids into, we understand to be the northern Gaza Strip, last night. Uh, the army saying that uh, they recovered what they describe as several Israeli bodies. I think the idea of this raid, well, that's what's being reported at least, was obviously to try and get or try and retrieve either bodies or rescue some of those that were, were captured. Um, bear in mind that uh, Israel's reporting that at least 150 people were taken by Hamas gunmen into Gaza, including uh, many women and children. Um, we've seen some of those videos, um, pretty shocking videos, it must be said, um, certainly of some of the children and elderly women that were taken. Um, it's worth bearing in mind that Israel is under increasing pressure, uh, sorry, the Israeli military is under increasing pressure, both in Israeli media and just generally throughout I Israeli society. They want to see some sort of effort, more of an effort by the Israeli army in doing all they can to try and get these hostages out before an expected um, land invasion into Gaza. We know how difficult that that, that could be. Um, the Israeli military are saying that along with those several bodies that there were items um, belonging, it's believed to be belonging to those, um, those that were captured that according to the military they hope could lead to uh, possibly more rescues or at least the retrieving of um, those that are killed. But as I say, it is an incredibly risky operation, uh, very difficult indeed. We understand that um, special forces may well have been um, used in this operation. But, you know, um, a lot of people are saying this is, is really more of a, as much a PR exercise as anything because it is just so difficult. We know how, how long a, a process, the kind of planning for just getting a couple of hostages out of a situation like that in an area like Gaza would take the Israeli military, um, let alone 150. But it's another indication that um, we could indeed be seeing some sort of ground movement by Israeli forces into the Gaza Strip in the coming hours or days. Um, because, as I say, it is important that the Israeli military at least be seen to be doing all they can to get back those that are captured by Hamas fighters and have been taken into Gaza. As you say, Charles, a lot of speculation now that a ground invasion into Gaza is imminent. What is your sense from where you are? Well, it's undeniable that, um, obviously, we've seen in, in recent days this huge, great troop build-up, um, military hardware being brought down to southern Israel, vast amounts of tanks, um, APCs, various other heavy weapons being used. We've seen, obviously, a, a, an air campaign, a bombing campaign that has so far, at least, killed around 2,000 Palestinians and destroyed vast amounts, vast areas of the Gaza Strip. Um, but in the last couple of days, we've seen some of those troops and some of that hardware being moved, we understand, into potentially more forward operational positions. So, yeah, all indications are is that we are not far away, potentially, from some sort of ground invasion. Interestingly, in the last couple of hours or so, an Israeli military spokesperson for the, for, in Arabic has said that... Um, the, uh, the, the, the Israeli forces, is, Israeli Air Force, will not bomb two routes, two routes, evacuation routes, um, for a, a number of hours to allow this evacuation to continue. Um, the exact statement is, is that these two, these two routes will be uh, left alone, will not be bombed between the hours of 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. today. So, again, another indication that all preparations are being made for some serious, large-scale potential ground invasion into Gaza in the coming hours or days. OK, thank you for that update. Charles Strafford there for us live in Ashdod. Let's speak now to Yusuf al -Abade. He's a retired colonel and international security analyst. He joins us now from Istanbul. Thank you for your time, sir. We were hearing there from our correspondent about the pressure that the Israeli army is clearly under to retrieve 
these 150 hostages, we believe, at least that's what we're being told, that are in Gaza. How tricky is that when you, you factor in some sort of ground invasion? What is the reality going to be from a military invasion point of view? So from the military perspective, to find the hostages in a very uh, highly dense population area will not be uh, so easy for the Israeli Defense Forces. For that reason, Israel should always take into consideration during the ground operation the lives of the hostages which was taken, captured, by, uh, kidnapped uh, by the uh, Hamas militants. For that reason, that is easy to say, but hard to carry out. For this reason, uh, how Israel will accomplish to save the lives of the hostages during a ground operation uh, is still uh, carrying lots of risk for the, uh, especially the civilian hostages. Make sure to subscribe to a channel to the latest news from RDZ World News.